What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Luke. I'm back again. I'm sorry about that. I accidentally hit, hit the, um, I accidentally hit my foot. I accidentally sl swiped up by accident and, um, I cut off the first video. So the first video, I, like I was saying, I was doing top 10 songs to play on guitar. The first video was definitely 10 through six. We just finished Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And now we are moving on to song number five. Every finger tapping song that Eddie Van Halen ever made. Rock on! Ah, yeah. ah. Yeah. Sexy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but um, mad respect to Eddie Van Halen, one of the best uh, rock guitars of all time. But um, number five is uh, Last Resort by Papa Roach. Got my life into pieces. This I don't know if I got the chord progression right because cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Cause I know the melody to the T. But um was it? Cut my life in cut my life in cut my life into pieces. I don't even know. But um the I gotta look up the chords for that song because I really like just kind of love the main uh, guitar riff in the song. But um uh, if, if, if any of you guys are fellow guitar players, please let me know what the um, what those chord vamps are at the beginning of the song, because I know I'm definitely not playing the right ones. I'm just messing around with some power chords. I know it's power chords, like something like this. I know it's something like this. But um, the main reason I love this song is because the because the riff is just so iconic. Once they start, so like, as simple and easy as this riff to play, there's just something about it that's so catchy and like just something that makes you just want to play it over and over and over and over again because you can you can mess around with the dynamics of the song the timbre the, the color of the song like with, with that riff it's just because like, like in the song they start loud they're rocking on and then when the singer starts coming in some palm uni action here loud palm muting loud palm muting So there you have it. That is, that is, that was song number five, uh, Last Resort by Papa Roach. I know, I know every, every kid who grew up in the scene community when I was in high school absolutely loves this song. Every scene kid knows this song. It's a song almost everybody knows, even if you're not, even if you weren't a scene kid back in the day, you definitely know this song. It's like as iconic, almost as iconic as every song Lincoln Park ever wrote. <laughs> like for real. Um, but, um, Okay, now we're gonna move on to number four. Honestly, this is now I gotta. Ooh, this is this is gonna be fun because these next two songs are in drop D. Ooh, it's getting juicy now. We're gonna we're gonna go to we got some little some little metal action going on here. The jet. It's not the Jen song, <laughs> but uh, I'm just playing. But um, anyway, number four is free, is the song "Freedom" by Rage Against the Machine. Who's all heard of Rage Against the Machine? Raise your hands. Another one of my favorite all-time rock bands. So iconic in the '90s. So iconic. Way ahead of their time, in my opinion, at least. Like, they just came out. They're literally like, in my opinion, they're like one of the reasons the mosh pit started today. <laughs> like I'm saying like, 
like crazy mosh pits. Like they, they like they're literally the found like like arguably they're literally the founding fathers of all that chaos. <laughs> and like you gotta give them like mad respect for it. As crazy as they were. And no, I'm not doing bulls on parade. And no, I am not doing uh, killing in the name of. I love those songs to play on guitar too or on bomb track. I love them, but my favorite song is Freedom. Just love the whole guitar for song. <laughs> Drives. Just that riff is so cool, like the whole song. It's a very sexy bass line. You feel me? Very sexy. Like everything about this song I just love. It just drives. Like when, when they made this song, like it was clear that they were on a mission to rock the frick out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say to that. Number four was Freedom by Rage Against the Machine. Number number three is a band very similar to Rage Against the Machine. And no, it's not Rage, but um, you, but even though a lot of the band members from Rage Against the Machine are in this band, it's Audio Slave, and, and this song's called Show Me How to Live. Another song in Drop D. I just love the, I love the funkiness of this song. It's just one it's one of the funkiest songs ever made. Even though like. Chris Cornell and those sexy vocals, let me tell you. Uh, you know, RIP to a freaking vocal legend right there. Like, my condolences. <sighs> like, I just want to kind of take a, take a moment of silence for Chris Cornell because, like, mental. Like I said, my like I said earlier, mental health is no joke. And like, I know there's I know there's millions of Americans and people struggling with depression and suicide every day. And um, I've been I've been one of them at times. Like, life isn't easy, so. Uh, 10 seconds of silence for Chris Cornell and his family. All right, let's get back to the song though. Uh, I love this song, Show Me How to Live. And I'm going to show you why, because of the funkiness of the song, the intro. It's all because of the intro of this song. It's cool. Funkiness of that, of that, just that whole riff alone makes this song number three. That whole riff alone. And honestly, Tom Morello, another guitar goat. Another guitar goat. Great freaking guitar player. I know he gets a lot of flack sometimes for doing all that experimental stuff like you know, all that crazy stuff he used to do with Rage, but like he is a musical genius. 
Like, and I know those kind of guitar players are very hit and miss to people in the guitar community. Like, some of my favorite guitar players are guitar players that, like, people, that some people will definitely despise. Like, Tom Morello. I love him. Frank Zappa, another person that is one of my favorite freaking guitar players. Like, was because of his abstractness and just how unique he is. Like, he's not a guitar person everybody's gonna, gonna say they love when you meant, if, like, if, like, you mention him in your top 10. And honestly, Frank Zappa is easily in my, in my top 10. Like, I don't know who, who else can play a backward solo the way that man does. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, I'll, I'll do more videos about, about that stuff. But right now, I gotta finish these last two. Let me put the, let me tune back up to standard tuning really quick. Bulls on parade. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. Well, anyway, um, song, song number two is gonna be War Pigs by Black Sabbath. <laughs> So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna not, as far as on, you have to use this technique in the song, or at least I do, because it makes the um, one of the lead guitar parts a lot easier. Um, everything I love in this song is like, ah, I played the first two chords, I already messed it up. Ah, oh, that's painful. Ow, ow, ow. I got a mulligan. Ow, I'm just playing, but now I'm gonna play seriously. Uh, This is the part. A lot of people have trouble with that part because they try to play it like this. Which you can, but it's a lot more stress on your finger, I think, just personally. That's what I do. It's quicker. And it's easier to transition. Watch. For those of you who don't know me, I'm gonna quote. Um, I'm gonna do a little quote, a funny thing, like my because uh, I'm a, I am a big Steve Tiberi fan. Like he is honestly like one of my one of the one of the main um, inspire one of my biggest guitar inspirations. And um, I just want to give him a shout out because I know when I was struggling and going through a lot of tough times, I watched a lot of his YouTube videos and stuff, and just his his sense of humor and just joking about songs, just like really like kept me going and like made me laugh when I really needed to the most so like I want to give a shout out to Steve Tberry and uh, say a and say a big thank you because like one of the you're like one of the you're really the biggest inspiration of why I started to make a, a YouTube channel and um I would I would freaking love to get an opportunity to do a on um, to do a YouTube jam session with you man like you're a great freaking guitar player I don't even care if I got to comp some chords on the acoustic 
-hmm. and just let you shred, man. Like I, it would just be a, it would be a freaking honor. But with that being said, like Stevie T said in one of his songs, um, uh, what's my favorite song? Every freaking riff by Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stevie T. I didn't mean to steal your quote like that. But um, no, I, not every riff. I'm being, I'm being silly. But every Metallica riff is freaking awesome. He's not wrong. But um, my favorite is Master of Puppets. And just because the whole song is, he's, you're just shredding the freak out. Like, in, but the intro especially is my favorite. Why is it? it, well, it's, it it's like, that's the beginning. Okay. And, and this is, I will just play. And this is the reason why this song is my favorite. I'm just going to do the talk. My talking is going to be my plan for this song. <laughs> This is why Master of Puppets is number one for my favorite freaking song to play on guitar. All right, YouTube. It has been a pleasure doing these um, doing these first couple YouTube videos. I am very blessed right now. I'm happy that I finally started taking affirmative action in my own hands and decided to stop procrastinating and get off my lazy butt and create a YouTube channel. So, like, um, I'm just going to say I'm going to try to spread the word, do my best. Um, whatever happens, happens. Uh, you please um if you guys are interested hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it trying to get as many followers as i can like cardi b says you do everything for clout hey 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 i'm just playing but like um yeah a little bit but um no most recently i'm doing this for my self-care but if you guys subscribe and follow like it's definitely it definitely won't hurt and i would greatly appreciate it <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right you all right youtube fam stay blessed and stay safe everybody okay and um please don't take your mental health for granted <laughs>